In this video, we're going to talk about what annuities are and how they create an income for you later in life. So hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you stay up to date on when new videos come out. Annuities are financial products that help provide steady income in retirement. But an annuity can be very complex. Here's an overview of how annuities work, their pros and cons, and how annuities compare with IRAs. So first, what's an annuity? An annuity is a long-term financial contract that can help provide you with a stream of payments later in return for investment now. There are three main arguments for buying an annuity. First, retirement income. You might need more than social security to live off in retirement. An annuity can provide steady income so you don't outlive your savings. Number two, estate planning. Annuities can provide income to your beneficiaries if you die, and in some cases without going through probate. And number three, tax deferral. You don't pay taxes on investment gains in an annuity until you withdraw the money. So how much does a $100,000 annuity pay per month? The amount of your annuity payment depends on many factors such as how much you invest, how long you receive payments, and how much your investment grows before you start getting paid. Typically, the longer you wait to receive payments, the more time your investment has to grow, and the larger your payouts might be. Generally, the longer you choose to receive payments, the smaller each check will be. Inflation could make what seems like a lot of money now feel like a small amount later on in life. A payout of $1,000 per month probably goes pretty far today, but in 15 years, it might not be that much. So then how does an annuity work? Annuities are complex, but here's an overview of some characteristics you should know. Let's first talk about the annuity life cycle. Typically, there are two stages to annuity investments. One, accumulation. You contribute a lump sum of money or make a series of payments to the annuity provider. Whether and how that money is invested while you wait to begin taking payments depends on the type of annuity you buy. This phase could be very short or last pretty much a lot of decades. Number two, annuitization. The payout phase starts when you begin getting checks. You might opt for a lump sum payment, though often people choose to receive regular monthly payments, just like Social Security. So let's talk about the different types of annuities. There are several kinds of annuities, and here are some of the most common ones. The first is an immediate annuity, an annuity that begins paying out right away. Second is a deferred annuity, an annuity that begins paying out later. You may get bigger payouts this way because your money has more time to accumulate investment gains. Third, fixed annuity. You pay a premium that's invested at a fixed rate. The investment grows based on a guaranteed rate of return. Fourth, variable annuity. An annuity that allows you to choose where to invest your premium, such as in mutual funds and bond funds. Depending on the provider, the annuity might provide a guaranteed minimum return and or cap the maximum amount of growth. That means your investment returns or payouts may never fall below a certain level, and you can also earn higher returns, but also that's more risky. Fifth, equity index annuity. Here, the growth tracks to some degree a stock index, such as the S&P 500, and you get guaranteed minimum payments. You could have higher returns, but of course, again, more risk. And six, riders. You can customize your annuity by purchasing riders. Riders are optional add-on features. They vary by issue. Some examples include living benefits where you get guaranteed increases in your payout at a certain time and death benefits where you have the annuity pay your funeral cost or pay a beneficiary. So this inevitably goes to annuity taxes. Annuities are tax deferred instruments, which means that typically you pay on the income in the account only when you take money out. Generally, if you buy an annuity with pre-tax dollars, like through a 401k or IRA, the payments you later receive from the annuity are taxed at regular income tax rates. Annuities funded with pre-tax dollars are called qualified annuities. If you buy an annuity through a Roth IRA or Roth 401k, the income may be completely tax-free. If you buy an annuity with money you already pay taxes on, then generally only the part of the account that is gains or earnings is taxed when you withdraw the money from your annuity. Of course, there's the question about, can you lose money in an annuity? And the answer is yes, all investments have risks. For annuity, two primary risks are listed. First, market risks, where the investments in your annuity lose value, leaving you with a smaller pool of money, which leaves you with smaller payments in the future. Second is issuer risk, where the issuer doesn't have the cash to pay out your annuity. So then is an annuity a good investment? Guaranteed payments are appealing if you'll be paying a large fixed expense like a mortgage in retirement, or if you worry about running out of money when you get older. So here are the pros of an annuity. First, annuities can be a way to get into tax deferred investment if you already max out contributions to other tax deferred accounts such as a 401k or IRA. Second, you get a set payment you can count on. Third, you can customize your annuity. You can choose an annuity that pays until you die, for example, or until you and your spouse have both died. 
And fourth, you can choose an annuity with a death benefit, which lets you name beneficiaries to receive any unpaid money. So what are then the cons of an annuity? First, inflation can erode the buying power of a set payment amount over time. Second, you may have limited or no say in annuity investments. Third, you may get a set or capped return where the insurer keeps the difference if the investment returns exceed the cap. Fourth, fees are higher than IRA fees and carry potential surrender charges if you terminate your policy. Fifth, annuities are very complex. So then let's talk about some of the annuity fees. First is the surrender charge. If you withdraw money from an annuity before the agreed upon date, you will likely have to pay a surrender charge. Surrender charges typically apply for several years after you buy an annuity. Second, mortality and expense risk fees. This typically runs about 1.25% of your account per year and compensates the annuity issuer for the risk it assumes under the contract. Part of it also might pay a commission to the person who sold you the annuity. Third, administrative fees. You might be charged for record keeping or other administrative expenses. Fourth, underlying fund expenses. You typically also pay the fees and expenses for the underlying mutual funds your account is invested in. Fifth, special features. You may pay additional fees for special features such as a guaranteed minimum income benefit or long-term care insurance. You might also pay initial sales loads, which are fees when you buy the product, as well as fees for transferring parts of your account from one investment option to another and fees for other activities. And sixth, tax penalties. If you withdraw money from an annuity before you're 59 and a half, you may have to pay a 10% tax penalty. So then let's look at annuities versus IRAs. Annuities are one of many tools for funding retirement. So then let's compare annuities and IRAs. What about a max annual contribution? Annuities, they don't have one. Traditional IRAs have about 6,000 or 7,000 if you are age 50 or older per year. What about contributions that are tax deductible? In annuities, no such thing. In traditional IRAs, the answer is yes if you meet income and other requirements. What about ability to control how money is invested? In an annuity, yes, kind of, but there are limitations. In a traditional IRA, of course, yes. Can you lose money? In an annuity, yes. In a traditional IRA, yes. Are gains tax deferred? In an annuity, yes. And traditional IRA, again, yes. What about early withdrawal penalties? For an annuity, surrender fee based on contract plus withdrawals before age 59 and a half may incur 10% tax penalty. And for traditional IRAs, withdrawals before age 59 and a half may incur 10% tax penalties, but there are exceptions. So then what are your thoughts? Are you thinking about getting an annuity? Are you just sticking with an IRA? What are your pros and cons for yourself? Leave a comment down below and let's get a discussion started. And as always, take care of your money. I recently finished The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas Stanley, and I included this video as a way for you to expand your financial education outside of this channel. I'll leave a link to the book down below, and if you prefer listening to it on an audiobook for free, I'll also leave a link to a 30-day free trial to Audible. You can choose this book or any book to listen to, and even if you cancel before your free trial is over, you can still keep the book and listen to it whenever you want. Oh, and one last thing before you go. I created a course called Smart Money Parenting as a way to teach parents how to educate their kids about money. An early financial education is the foundation for wealth building, so give your kids a future they deserve. Use code MONEY20 at checkout to receive 20% off my master course. I'll leave a link to the course down below.